today, a lot of focus on TikTok as the CEO of the social media platform testified on Capitol Hill addressing concerns over safety and privacy. This comes as bipartisan lawmakers are calling for a nationwide ban of the social media app and a new CBS News poll shows Americans over the age of 18 agree with 61% saying they are in favor of banning it. CBS 2's Doug Williams here now with us with the local parents who were at the testimony in this intense questioning. Today. Yeah, Maurice and Christine, 150 million people in the United States use TikTok. And today, an effort on Capitol Hill to change that number to zero. TikTok CEO Shu Chu faced intense questioning today from members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. The primary concern of lawmakers, TikTok's connection to the Chinese Communist Party and potential spying and censorship. We do not promote or remove content at the request of the Chinese government. Are you 100% certain that they cannot use your company to promote such messages? It is our commitment to this committee and all our users that we will keep this free. From any manipulation by any okay. government. If you can't say 100% certain, I take that as a no. Chu's testimony introduced changes that TikTok and its China based parent company ByteDance believe will put Americans at ease about their data in what Chu is calling Project Texas, storing American data on American soil with stricter rules about foreign government access. All of this despite insisting they're not Chinese owned. ByteDance is not owned or controlled by the Chinese government, it's a private company. Not all representatives are in favor of a TikTok ban. Congressman Jamal Bowman of New York's 16th District held a press conference yesterday surrounded by TikTok creators and small business owners who say they rely on the app. Why the hysteria and the panic and the targeting of TikTok? A theme today, concerns about young people. Two thirds of American teenagers are on TikTok. On Long Island, the parents of 16 year old Chase Nasca are suing ByteDance and TikTok after they say the app played a role in their son's suicide last year. They say he was served over 1,000 videos through their algorithm promoting self harm. Florida Congressman Gus Bilarakis invoked Chase's story with his parents in attendance. Mr. Chu, your company destroyed their lives. Your company destroyed their lives. Parents can't take themselves off of these platforms. Kids, there's no way they're going to take themselves off, and we need you to do your part. It may affect your bottom line, but it could save this generation. The Biden administration has suggested uh, ByteDance step away from their investment in TikTok, which the Chinese government opposes. TikTok released a statement a short time ago saying the day was dominated by political grandstanding and that the committee failed to recognize the five million businesses on TikTok or the First Amendment implications of a ban. Maurice and Christine. Okay, Doug, thank you.